So welcome to my channel and on this channel we talk about music, politics, art and everything in between really. <laughs> Apparently, a door for sexy. Okay. And witty. <laughs> Well, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm shooting from my kitchen. Is it green? Well, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, it's very chilly, so girls gotta keep warm. Wasn't here uh, last week because we are, you know, doing some major cleaning, so obviously a girl cannot shoot. But I'm here now, okay? I'm here now. So, what are we talking about this week? A lot of stuff, like I missed out on a lot of stuff. I really wanted to get on there and talk to you guys about what had happened, but I missed out, and ah, there's a new week. And today's a Friday, for Friday. Um, in Zambia, the in Wash of the Rome constituency has been won by a new party, the NDC. Um, you know, the PF has lost, the party in power has lost that one. It's a kind of a huge blow, I must say, to the to, to the sitting party, I guess. A lot of people are saying, well, well, not a lot, but some people are saying, what about the uh, the, the the Bahati uh, parliamentary elections? Like the PF won that one. And they lost their own constitution. I mean, come on, you guys. That's the, supposed to be the PF stronghold. I... I, I but anyway, you know, at the end of the day, when people are tired, people are tired. Eventually, even the strongest dictators or the strongest um, parties that were thought to be, like they're going to be there for a long time, have eventually been brought down. The biggest armies, the biggest kingdoms at some point, the people just get tired and they're like, you know what, we don't want that anymore. So congratulations to the NDC for, for their win. If you hear, I'm, if I'm shooting from the kitchen, so if you hear any background noise, just ignore that, okay? Just, just ignore that. Ignore it. Anyway, so on Twitter, there has been, HR Twitter basically has been saying that you, a person will not be hired based on what they post. So the company is going to look at the things that you post. And then from there, they're going to decide whether to hire you or not. Some companies will decide whether they're going to hire you or not. And some influential people have also said, yes, I do look at Twitter. I do look at your social media to decide on whether I should hire you or not. I, I think it's a very slippery slope. Of course, there's some problematic tweets like homophobia or racism or sexism that are just like, this is just, no. No, you're just a horrible person, basically. No, 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 nobody wants to hire you or nobody wants to even buy things from you because you're a racist or you're a homophobe or you're whatever. So no, we're not gonna hire you and okay. So there was that. But my issue with this whole thing is where does it end, where does it stop? I had this discussion with my husband and he said, well, yes, he too did look at somebody's social media because the company, at the end of the day, the company does not want to be associated with certain things. I was like, I wasn't really asking well, what, what kind of things, like, what do you mean? So for example, if I am against what is happening in this, in a country right now, or I'm against uh, a situation, can I not explain? Press myself for fear of okay what if this company is pro government or pro this that i'm against but i'm very qualified for the job that they're gonna have or the person who is in charge is pro that and i'm against that or vice versa how is that gonna work so i was like yeah okay but at the end of the day that you don't I'm like yes the company doesn't maybe if you're a christian company for example are you not then because you have people who are like atheists and they're like posting atheist stuff. Like if the boss is Christian or 90% of the people who work in that company are Christian, are you then not going to hire me because I'm an atheist or what? I'm like, no, you cannot hire somebody because based on their religion. I'm like, how then are you going to tell me if I come to your interview and say, no, we're not going to hire you because you're an atheist or we're not going to hire you because you are you say that 
red is better than black or what, what are you gonna how are you gonna tell me or should companies put that in their advertisement and say if you want to work for this company make make sure that you give us your your, your social media i don't I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. You guys tell me what you think. There was a lot of discussion on Twitter. Many people raised these concerns, and there were others who were like, "Yeah, I don't want to hire a problematic person." But then again, people pretend this is social media. Let's not forget this is social media. People pretend like I could be the godliest of the godly people, holier than thou people. I'm just retweeting and problematic things and then in real life i'm like a real troublemaker like i do not probably get along with anybody but because my resume is like so perfect and my social media to your standards is, is okay and then you hire me and then you discover that in real life i'm an actually i'm an asshole <laughs> what are you gonna do like, I, I just have so many questions about about that i just think <sighs> real problematic things Yes, because the company does not want to be associated with a racist or a homophobe and so on and so on. But like, I, I just want to know, like, are you, are you as a company going to ask me for my social media? Am I supposed to be your friend on social media? Are you going to ask for my password to my social media? What if I give you one of my fake accounts? What if I say this is not my account? I'm actually not on social media. And then if you bring out something and then like, what are, well, what's this and i'm like no this is not me actually i don't have any social media i don't know this person this must be one of those fake accounts i don't know how they go my pick <laughs> i don't know i just think it's shitty companies shouldn't do that unless it's a problematic homophobic racist piece of shit and then you find out later because obviously not many people are going to give you their social media that's not it's not asked in the in the company in the interviews at least as far as i know you're not really asked them what's your social media user add me i want to be your friend like you like i don't know but just tell me what you guys think do you think that companies should hire you based on your social media is it fair <laughs> Anyway, away from that, but I really like to hear from you. Away from that, there have been people who've been coming onto my channel, inboxing me and telling me that on my channel, I should basically telling me how I should run my channel or how I should speak. Well, this is my channel. This, I do this because I want to really, and I, I love it. I enjoy speaking with you guys. I get connected to people from all over the world. And I make friends out of here. So these are just, some of them are just my opinions, really. This is how I speak. I cannot, we cannot all speak the same. And there's so many other YouTubers here on this YouTube channel. You know, like there's so many other people that you can watch that you relate to. Because I believe that when you're tuning into somebody, when you're giving that person your, your time, it means you relate to them and you like what they do and you enjoy, uh, how they come across to you like you, you really you like that person so if this is not your piece of cake you can find uh, other channels i could offer you you know links but i um, <laughs> but thank you for watching anyway this, i'm gonna continue doing this i'm gonna continue speaking the way i speak i'm gonna continue laughing because i enjoy laughing <laughs> it's fun <laughs> it's fun try it <laughs> So no, we are not changing. We are not doing that. So we are not doing that. No. <laughs> also on social media, there was a girl who, I know she's she's there making a video, feeling herself. <sighs> Ignore that. And then she's like, she loses one of the earrings. The, these things fall. Oh my god! Just guys, guys. Ignore that. Anyway, she drops one of the, the earrings. And she's like, oh my God, I dropped my hearing. She doesn't say earring, but she says hearing. And social, the Zambian social media goes crazy. They're making fun of this girl for like, oh my gosh, she said hearing. She said hearing. They're making memes out of her. They're making cartoons out of her. 
And basically, social media, like, they started bullying this girl. Like, social media, they just went in. I, I, I found that very, I always find that very strange when English is not your first language. We learn it in school. But most of the time when you, like, you learn it in school. When you're outside there, you're speaking whatever language is, is common in that area. For example, I'm from the Copper Belt, so Bemba is spoken there. When in school, you're going to be speaking English. Well and good. But on the streets, with your friends, you're at home, you're going to be speaking Bemba. You're going to speak your language. So English is the official language. Use it for, you know, business. Okay? But for, 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 for social media, for people on the internet, for us to go against this girl or laugh at her for saying that, it's silly. You hardly, you hardly laugh or hear other people make fun of, say, Germans or, or the French for speaking English a certain way. We actually find that sexy when somebody tries to speak English and they're French and they have an accent or they even mispronounce words. They're like, oh my God, that's okay. But it's always, most of the time, I'm going to speak about back home like it's always back home like you have people laughing at you oh you cannot speak like what why i'm like she lost her hearing and but you knew what she meant you know exactly what she meant so why are you making fun of her that's not cool guys come on stupid that's just i think that's that's an inferiority complex that's it's, it's colonial mind it's a colonized mind get, get, it's 20 fucking 19 guys come on Ugh. it was so annoying i was even thinking when before i saw the video i was like ah why is this girl trending why is this girl trending? So I see another video and then she, she, she posted another video. And she's like, you knew exactly what I said. I'm like, what? So I find the original video and I see her lose her earring. And she says, oh my God, I lost my hearing. And I'm like, okay, so this, this that, that's it. People are laughing at you from what? That's it. Do they change? Come on. Soon they just. Uko, you okay? Anyway, please be sure to subscribe, like, share with your friends, tell them about the channel, tell them about this channel, and I will see you in my next video.